Hey, I noticed today on my socials that Unity has now released a press release about decentralized technologies being on the asset store. So here's the new landing page in the asset store slash decentralization. This is covering technologies related to Web3 and crypto and how to bring those third-party technologies into your Unity gaming experience. So I've just given it a quick look today, but I wanted to note that it's out and there's lots of different things that you can play with and more updates to come. There are about a dozen different technologies that are part of this particular press release and some of the releases are not mentioned on this page, but just within these dozen, we've got a lot of different SDKs. Let me scroll down and show them. In a lot of different ways that you can bring this technology in whole or in part into your Unity projects. So one of the things that I wanted to look at here is MetaMask integration. Now, some of these other SDKs bake this functionality into the experience that they offer. So for example, if you want to be able to have a Unity game that auths with the MetaMask wallet, you can do that with this SDK, or some of the other SDKs offer similar functionality and even work with various wallets. Wallet Connect is a protocol that sits between MetaMask and many other wallets. So you could have an experience very focused on just MetaMask or something that is more generalized depending on which package you choose. And the types of things that we're able to do with Web3 and, and Unity together would be to create games and cool experiences that take advantage of the unique offerings of this technology. For me, in my couple of years of research, using and building on top of these SDKs, there's five basic needs that I've identified for any Web3 game project, and that primarily, first and foremost, is being able to authenticate your game so that your user can uh, connect their account like MetaMask. So that's probably the most important, and the others depend on that one. Then it's being able to create and send assets like NFTs, being able to fetch and load assets like NFTs, being able to read and write contracts that are on you know, the blockchain, smart contracts, and then being able to listen to events that are emitted back from the, um, the smart contract into Unity. With the absence of that last one, many, many of these uh, have one of these, have two of them, or maybe four, but that fifth one is quite rare. And a uh, alternative you can do is pull the back end. Is this ready? Is this ready? Is this ready? There's a few other workarounds that are a bit more elegant, but traditionally that's the lowest level alternative. But it's really nice to be able to just subscribe to a Unity, uh, within Unity to one of the smart chain emitted contracts and capture that from the back end. For example, if the smart contract is deployed on an EVM, Ethereum compatible blockchain, you would be able to use Solidity's emit um, you know, keyword on the smart chain and notify Unity uh, that it has already been subscribed. So that's a very cool piece of functionality. But I would say auth is the most important. Then many, uh, first case use case for many people is being able to use NFTs being able to mint them as a trophy at the end of a level, for example, and then being able to load them in and say, here's all the trophies that you have, and those would exist in the game experience, as my example there just gave, and they would also have a lifespan beyond that game session and even beyond that game's lifespan so that you could purchase these items beforehand and you could sell them after the, the game if you choose to and if the game empowers that feature. So just a little tease here, that decentralization has been announced as far as a Unity technology on the Asset Store. Go, so go check out the Asset Store and see which one of these you want to play with next. Thanks.